Uh, here we have uh, the new Emacs RS 1106 motors. Uh, they come in three different KV values, 4500, 6000, and 7500. Uh, these were sent in by Emacs for review, so thanks Emacs for sending this uh, test sample so I can uh, put them through the test and share the results uh, with my viewers. Thanks a lot. So they come in this uh, anti-static bag, and as you can see, I guess to avoid uh, counterfeit, they have, I think they have this, yeah, they have this scratch serial uh, number there for each of the motors. So that's for the uh, anti-counterfeit uh, measures. They kind of list the uh, specs right here. KVs, dimensions, number of cells, what propellers to use. But anyways, we almost never pay attention to those. And they include a set of stickers and uh, a bunch of screws. Uh, these are all Allen screws, different lengths. Uh, so here's the motors, uh, pretty good looking. They look just like the their bigger brothers, the RS motors, uh, red bottom, and with the black top. Uh, so something interesting is uh, they have uh, two different sets of uh, mounting holes for the props. Uh, these two are the typical ones, the more common ones for the most of the props we use. So let's see what they weigh. Uh, it says seven grams on the uh, on the packaging on the specs. It's seven grams, so and they come with uh, uh, this is 50 millimeters worth of wire. Uh, so that's one of the things that I think Emacs should uh, uh, revise. Maybe provide a little bit longer. Maybe oh I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 millimeters, so that uh, we don't have to splice wires when we use center mounted uh, four in one ESCs. So that would be a good uh, addition to have, uh, makes it easy. So let's see what it weighs. Uh, so this weighs 7.4 grams. So they do list 7 grams for the motor without wires, I believe that. 0.4 grams for these wires, yep. Sounds about right. So it's the usual Emacs construction. Uh, pretty good uh, quality, everything feels pretty tight. So let's... Uh, Let's take it apart and see. I'll just give it a little inspection. So as we can see, the stator is, it, yeah, it measures the nominal uh, six millimeters, so no surprises there. Six millimeters tall. And as usual from Emacs, pretty neat windings. One thing I did notice on this is that they're using two millimeter motor shaft so that's a uh, that's pretty good that's pretty good uh, they went with a uh, full two millimeters most of the motors will use one and a half millimeters so these are two millimeters all the way through and then it's turned down here for the prop uh, so that's pretty good because uh, that achieves two things well the first one most obvious one is that uh, it's gonna be this is gonna be a stronger shaft than the 1.5 of course so it'll it'll resist bending uh, more you know like in in a really harsh cr crash you know you have a thicker shaft so possibly it'll it'll keep it from bending um, the other thing that it, it it helps with is that there's gonna be more contact area between the shaft and the bell uh, so that uh, may help with the problems that we see with the size motors which is where the um, when we're putting the prop uh, you know you push on the shaft because the prop hole is too small and it fits too tight so when we're trying to put the prop we end up pushing the shaft back and then you end up with a vertical play on the motor uh, because it pushes the shaft that way so then we we end up with vertical play so with this thicker shaft and if you if they'd use adhesive there then there's gonna be more contact area so so hopefully that that does help but anyways the best thing to do with those with props is to enlarge the center hole uh, you use a 116 drill bit and I, I've mentioned that in my other videos uh, you use a 116 drill bit and then just kind of like 
uh, well, you just enlarge the hole, and that way it it'll just go right in. And that that hole is not it really it's really not used uh, because you have these two other the two screws they locate the prop you know they'll center it just fine so so there's no no issues there that works really great uh, so if you are on YouTube suggested that yeah one other thing I I notice which is uh, not uh, not very common on these size motors actually uh, I think this is the first motor I see that they're using balancing mud right there you see the blue epoxy there so it looks like they actually uh, went ahead and dynamically balanced these bells that really shows how Emacs is very uh, very concerned about uh, quality control in their motors uh, you know balancing these small uh, motors uh, it's uh, the first time I see it so overall uh, very uh, well put together motor so we'll put it we'll put all this through the thrust stand and see how they compare against the other 1106 motors that I've uh, run so far and uh, so we you know we'll have uh, even more 1106 uh, for the database to you know to have an idea of which motor is um, more powerful you know with the different props and uh, how they handle each of the props you know how many amps they draw uh, which gives you a good indication of uh, how the motor uh, will uh, perform in the air. Uh, you know, if a motor is going to be a lot stronger than other motors, then of course it's going to be uh, more powerful uh, once flying. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the thrust test and see how these uh, motors do. And here are the results for the Emax RS 1106 4500 kV. As you saw, it measured slightly higher at 4635 kV. I think that's a better kV, a little bit higher than the 4500 spec. I ran this motor on 3S and 4S, as I thought those were the more appropriate voltages to test all the various props. Pretty much the same props as I've been testing the other 1106s. So with the 2-inch prop, uh, this Gen Fan 2040 x 3 on 4S, uh, pretty decent uh, amount at very reasonable amps. So that's the advantage of running 4S. But of course, you know, you're going to have to match uh, this motor 
the frame and the prop appropriately because these uh, 4S light posts could end up being a little bit too heavy. And on 3S and 2 inch prop, it's just kind of barely waking up, but it's going to make for a very efficient motor, as you can see here. As the props go bigger, of course, we're going to be getting a little bit higher thrust. So basically, when we approach 3 inch props, that's when we see the best performance breaking the 300 grams on 4S. Now, that's going to be probably the best match for this motor uh, running 3 inch prop on 4S. S. On 3S uh, also it does pretty well but on the smaller props it might feel a little bit uh, too laggy, too uh, not responsive so you probably need the uh, 3 inch props too uh, to run 3S. As you can see here with the uh, triple braid prop we see it uh, doing pretty well actually three, almost 300 grams uh, just barely at, at 10 amps. Pretty good motor you know uh, this one of course is gonna have to be matched uh, with the right uh, frame and battery so you can get the best performance uh, so pretty interesting to compare this one to the other 1106s that i've uh, tested so you can pull those excel spreadsheets from the from the test I, uh, the links for the spreadsheets are on the video on the video description uh, there's a link to the dropbox in every video that i upload so, so that's a good comparison to make you can put them side by side and just kind of see which motor performs better with the given props all right so this is the last motor of the 1106 series from emacs i've already tested the 6000 and 7500 kv so that would be a good comparison you just look at them side by side it's kind of interesting to see how the motors make power at the various different uh, voltages pretty good motors uh, it seems like they, they almost covered all, all the the range for the 1106 and pretty good performance on all three uh, so basically you just gotta decide what type of flying you want to do and just match it with the right motor and uh, voltage that you want to run all right thanks for watching and uh, until the next video